There's a lot that I have to tell you right now. A lot of tips, a lot of apps, a lot of accessories. So sit down, relax, grab some popcorn, do whatever you want, maybe grab a drink, and let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so last week I made a video on my favorite and the best iPad Pro apps that I have for students on my iPad. And you guys seem to love that video. And I asked you guys, do you guys want me to do because I showed you my apps, but I felt like there was so much more that I could tell you for you to take the full advantage and unlock the full potential of your iPad Pro if you're a student. So that's what I'm basically going to tell you today. I'm going to be telling you guys some accessories that if I were you, I would buy um, for you to go back to school and some tips that you need to know and just everything that you need to know in general for your iPad Pro to go to back to school and not just your iPad Pro, iPad Air, iPad Mini, whatever iPad you have. So as I always say, the iPad Pro is an essential part of my daily life. My favorite part on having an iPad is that you have the best on both worlds. I love having a tablet to watch media on, and on, on the other hand, having an actual desktop class experience now with iPad OS. Like, you literally get the best of both worlds. So here's the first tip that I'm gonna tell you buy a mouse. With iPad OS, you can now connect a mouse to your iPad. And mouse support on the iPad, now with iPad OS, changes the way that you think of an iPad because before writing stuff like essays on the iPad, it was really annoying. Because if you wanted to edit a sentence or a certain word, you literally had to grab your finger and then grab the magnifying glass and then tap select and then it was just not a good experience. Now with the mouse, it's just like a desktop, you know, you just... You know what I mean. It's amazing. Also, now with iPad OS, you can literally export an entire website to a PDF. So if you want to study something offline, whether you're on the airplane or whatever you want, it's really simple to do. Simply do like this with the Apple Pencil on Safari and you will be able to export the whole website. And the whole magic about this is that you can actually mark up, highlight, and do whatever you want with that document, with your Apple Pencil, or with whatever stylus you have. Talking about the Apple Pencil, if you actually tap on the lock screen with your Apple Pencil, it will redirect you to Apple Notes. So if you want to, if you're in class and you want to write down something quick, you simply tap on the lock screen and it will open up straight to Apple Notes. Like this, you can actually write your notes right away. I love this feature. I wish it would actually open to another Notes app like Notability because that's the one that I use. But I've been using it this so much this year in college because sometimes you just don't have time to open up a certain app that you want. Sometimes you just, you just want to write down something quick and that allows you to do that. All right, next up is multitasking. If you have an iPad, you need to start multitasking, for example, with Split View. Split View is what basically makes the iPad so magical. I love having two apps side by side um, especially if you're a student, you're really going to love this. Start using it. If you don't, I don't know what you're doing with your life. It's really easy. Simply drag the app that you want on the right side and then you can minimize and make the sizes larger and smaller. It's good stuff. Use it if you don't use it. Next up, if a book exists physically, so if it actually exists, like if you actually have it physically, the chances are it's probably digitally as well. And you're back Yes, your back will thank me later. I mean, I've seen so many people in my school having books, like thick books, in their backpacks. And I'm like, what are you doing with your life, buddy? You can either take photos. I did this as well. I mean, because, you know, sometimes it's really annoying to purchase a book twice. It's not really expensive, but sometimes, you know, you have classes that, you know, it's just not worth it for you to buy a book in two different places and the great thing having everything on the ipad is they can search words you can highlight you can mark up that's kind of the magic of the ipad having everything in one device that's not heavy it's just pretty cool all right now let's talk about styluses and if you're interested in purchasing a stylus you're probably in between the apple pencil or the logitech crayon and let me tell you this i'm actually making an in-depth video between these two guys later on this month but um let me just tell you this, the Apple Pencil is better than the Logitech Crayon, of course, but it's also really, really expensive. Now, do I recommend the Logitech Crayon? And the answer is yes. And since this video is focused on students, this has such a better value than this. And if you're a student, you don't really need the Apple Pencil, you can just buy the Logitech Crayon. Now, what's the difference between both of them? Now, I don't really want to make this an in-depth comparison between these two guys, but basically, this is so much better if you're an artist. Like, if if you were to ask me which one do I recommend if you're an artist, I would definitely tell you to pick up the Apple Pencil because it's got the pressure sensitivity and it's got no lag whatsoever. This doesn't have lag, but I mean, if we're comparing them, this is this feels like an actual pencil. This is perfect for students. I mean, if you're taking notes, you, you don't really want that pressure sensitivity. I mean, it's nice to have, but you don't really need it. So 
If I were you, if you're a student, get the Logic Take Crayon. The, uh, this is not sponsored. They shipped this out to me, but I didn't think I was going to like it this much. And it's actually pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. This one's fancier, of course. It snaps onto my iPad with wireless charging. This, you, it's got a lightning port. But I definitely recommend this guy. And it's only 50 bucks. I mean, it's good stuff. And since you're gonna buy a stylus, you can now download a note-taking app. Um, there's so many note-taking apps. I made a video last week, as I said, with my favorite iPad Pro apps for students. So definitely check out that video to, to know which one I like better. Um, but I like Notability and GoodNotes a lot. I've been testing out both. They're amazing. Um, and I definitely recommend both of them. Definitely check both of them out. Um, I will be making, you guys really are requesting this video to compare both of them and to really, really choose a winner. Check out my best apps video to know which one I like better, but both of them are really good. So if you guys still want me to make that video, let me know in the comments down below and I will be sure to compare both of them perfectly. But either way, even if you know Apple Notes, like choose a noting app that you love and one that you're actually comfortable writing with because you're going to stick with that app for the rest of your school year. I mean, you're... I mean, you can download all of them if you want, but you're basically gonna stay, like once you start with one, you don't really switch since you already have all your notes. So make sure you, you use one that you're comfortable with. Maybe I tell you that notability is better, but maybe you're more comfortable with good notes. So make sure you test out all of them and make sure you pick one that you're comfortable with. So one of the best things about the iPad Pro is that it's actually got USB-C. And USB-C means that you can actually plug in um, USB-C flash drives, or if you don't have an actual USB-C flash drive, um, you can get an adapter and you can literally connect anything you want from SD cards to USB drives. Um, like literally in college, I don't know why everybody uses flash drives, like email is not a thing, at least in mine, like teachers like, you know, if I need to present a project, they like me to bring my USB to class and then it's annoying, I know, for me, if this, if this is the same for you, make sure you get an actual adapter or maybe an actual USB, USB drive. This one is actually from Who2, it's actually pretty good, good quality. I'm actually going to be reviewing this pretty soon, so stay tuned with that. So yeah, make sure you get something, whether it's a flash drive or an adapter like mine. Like this, you can transfer files with ease with your friends, with your teachers. I know I want everything to be wireless, but teachers are still not wireless. If you're a teacher, be wireless. Another tip that I wanted to give you is turn on True Tone if you're studying late at night. True Tone basically adapts to the light of your room in your screen. So if you're like in a more warmer room, your display will turn more warm. So if you're studying late at night, make sure you turn that or you can also turn off dark mode on iPadOS now. Um, either way, turn both of them. If you study late at night, I'm caring for your eyes. Your eyes will thank me. I'm caring for your eyes and your back today. I mean, thank me later, really. Um, but no, really, um, I've always used True Tone and it's really helped me, you know, to not get my eyes burnt out because if you study a lot and you watch and you're in front of the screen all the time, your eyes will begin to hurt. So make sure you turn on Dark Mode or True Tone. Once again, thank me later. So guys, that's pretty much it for all the accessories, all the tips that I want to give you. Make sure you guys check out my best iPad Pro apps for students. There's a lot of good stuff in there. Actually, just go watch it now. Just, just go ahead. It's good stuff, really. You guys will really like that video. There's really good apps. Go, click, click.